A protocol is being put in place if a European super volcano erupts because scientists are now worried. Get this. European? It's in Italy. Like Mount oh, Vesuvius? Shit. Like that? Like it's, Mount Vesuvius. Super volcanoes are scary. I not. didn't even know they had volcanoes there. Yeah, they're not respected. The volcanoes in Europe is not respected. But that's not, <laughs> they're not a big deal. That's what happened to Pompeii, no? no? That was Pompeii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands. Did you see the Pompeii people <laughs> dying like that? They got wrecked, dude. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. There was one guy that died like this. Yep. Is it is it too... Yeah. It's not too soon to make fun of those people, is it? No, I think it's been totally a couple fine. centuries. You can fucking shit all over those Yeah, people. there's a Pompeii guy that they said the, the guy he died jacking off. Is that a real thing? Yeah. Apparently. Wow. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands wow. of people living in the shadow of a European super volcano have been warned it could potentially erupt. Italy's Campi Flegri, Flegri and Fields, has been displaying some worrying signs of activity in recent weeks. Can you not disrespect the volcano name? <laughs> I just read what it is. Can oh, you not disrespect my hosting? I'm sorry. You're a guest. Be a good one. Ouch. Scientists fear the volcano is a ticking time bomb. Don't take that from me. And say that there is a very realistic possibility that it could blow. The last time this occurred was nearly 500 years ago. Whoa. It's been a long Ooh. time. Dude. Maybe it's due. I wonder yeah. how they tell those metrics. Yeah. Like pregnancy. <laughs> it's just guesstimations. Like you just see a pregnant volcano tummy or something? Yeah. Don't they say the same thing about Yellowstone? Yep. How it's like, is it is it a super volcano as well? Yeah, it's about to blow, bro. Isn't that a geyser? Yeah, but I think some- There's I a heard, volcano underneath it. Oh. Yeah. It's I just heard Joe water. Rogan talk about it. Yeah. Like, More than 1,100 tremors have been recorded oh, in the past shit. month. Oh, That's shit. scary, bro. A 4.0 magnitude earthquake on the October 2nd and a 4.2 on September 27th. Oh wow. my God. All the European, like, countries though i feel like italy can be one of them that that kind of blows up like because like i don't i know I, I have no shade to italy i love yeah, their food but great. how pretentious they are about their spaghetti it's <laughs> annoying man it's too annoying oh, that it's makes so you think the volcano is gonna yeah. blow but the tiramisu is very good though tiramisu oh yeah tiramisu is and good. okay sick guy. cars no. not reliable but fast right um, like which one? Luxury, on point, design, <laughs> on point, you know? But like, a little too pretentious, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like cool it on the pasta, right? Chill, like, yeah. I, if if my pot's small and I want to break the fucking noodles, yeah. let me break it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't be so fussy. Yeah. That yeah. part, okay. Yeah, that part. They're, prob they're yeah. probably already mad at you because you didn't hand make it. Because hey. every single time you're in your private home on this side of the world and you break it, they're hitting you up. Dude, there's a tear dropping, an Italian tear. An Italian tear. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, pizzeria, you're breaking the spaghetti. Okay, so it goes down for the genocide of Italians based off of super volcanoes. So this super volcano would take out all of Italy probably. Well, all of it? A big chunk of it. Uh, apparently a pretty big chunk. It'll obliterate Italy. The way they explain super volcanoes and the damage that it does, the it's like, sits, it'll be a big problem. Sits west of the city of Naples and is surrounded by towns and villages with a combined population of 500,000. Whoa. Oh, shit. Well, they will all die? If they don't evacuate or if they don't have a protocol set in place and something How serious happen. is this? Like 10 is erupting, then how serious is this? Um, they don't have a scale of 1 to 10, but oh. let me just see if I can dig can in. Can you make, make a like scale? A, <laughs> can they just make like a giant ice ball? And then just put it at the top of yeah, the volcano, idea. like and it like, pulls it down like, like a pimple. Like, like, like and it just, you know. That's a good idea. How about everybody take a bucket of ice and throw it in the hole? Ice bucket challenge. We all, we all. That's like everybody. a Simpsons episode. We go on a line. <laughs> go on a line. Everybody do yeah, one bucket. It'll cool crazy. it down. Huh? Do you think people really do move when that happens? You know, or like you take it. if it's legit enough. But like, remember how like Hurricane Katrina happened, and then when it did, everybody was like, all the experts were like, this will happen again because of the shape of the land and the flooding and the. It, but then people still, still stay. stay. They love Florida. I mean, Hawaii has an active <laughs> Not volcano. Florida, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's an active <laughs> volcano right now, but people keep moving to Hawaii. I mean, I wonder. I wonder what the Italian sentiment is on it, though, based off of their own history with things like Pompeii, or like knowing that if you're already yeah. living next to a super volcano, yeah, it's, it's like maybe there's it. a different sentiment. They're too. Or, they're too concerned about people making pizza, right? And <laughs> gatekeeping that shit. No, you also, have to focus on the pizza. Yeah. Because if there's a volcano, they're like the pizza is crazy. <laughs> well, forget about the volcano. Hey, don't worry about it. Forget about the volcano. Look at the don't pizza. Worry about yeah. I got a fresh slice. And yeah. and relative to Mount Vesuvius. They're, they're from yours. 
Campi Flegre, this volcano actually dwarfs uh, Mount Vesuvius. Oh, oh my. Shit. Yeah. That's a big statement. Damn. What's Mount? Okay. That's Mount a lot. Where's... Yeah, where's that at? It's the one that engulfed Pompeii, so it was right next oh, to Pompeii. Shit. Okay. But that's right. but you know that's what? old news. I love Italian. <laughs> I fucking love Italian. All I'm saying is if I had to choose between all the European countries, then that's just the one that's it's okay. And you think they're more of pretentious? All than of the European What well, what is yours then? Challenge me. Yeah, that is yeah. okay Come for a, a Spain. Or a super <laughs> what are you gonna say? Like Come fucking up with a better sacrifice. Estonia or something? Ooh, Estonia's nice. I know, right? Yeah. Blow it up, he one says, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anthony Lee said Latvia under his breath. Oh, yeah. Latvia's good. I know it's, it's no, that, that's great. That's great. We got Latvian fans, bro. Yeah, no. Shout out to Latvians. Latvian. One of my one of my good they friends growing up was Latvian. Fans? Nah, they don't speak English. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I mean, Joe knows all about the fans. I do. I fucked like half of them. That's fucking tight. Half of them. Only fans, huh? So, like, if a super volcano explodes, Anthony Lee, in the, and I know it says this is going to answer my question in the article, so you already know the answer. <laughs> but as soon as the super volcano explodes, how long until they have, they can evacuate? Because it, it says it right there, it right? It says the protocol is a three-day <laughs> evacuation for half a million people. Oh, and shit. currently, uh, schools and stuff like that and hospitals are already putting Damn. into place, like, um, practices and but drills. If it, oh, are they? So they're, yeah. like, they're ready. treating it like it's real. It's if that, it, it erupts, got, though, yeah, that's days. less than three days. If it... That's, yeah. like, hours. Yeah, but they're hope, hoping that, like, their prediction capabilities will be like, oh, it's about time, let's go for the evacuation. Mm. It's currently on wow. yellow alert, which is two levels away from the highest alert status. That's scary, oh, bro. Meaning God. people should keep an eye on seismic activity and be prepared for potential evacuation. If it was wow. that bad, though, do you think all of Italy would be taken out or just that area? Apparently just that area, but it says oh. if it did blow, uh, we could face a global winter and subsequent food sh shortages. Global winter? Why, why, why is there food shortage? Why we? Yeah, why do we get fucked over, no, dude? Because like, it, the, it, it, <laughs> what fucks the fuck? up, it fucks up Wait. the eco uh, at, like system to where the sun gets blocked out by the volcano clouds and, and it fucks up the, the temperature. And then so the shit that you're, we could usually grow, the fucking plants are like, I'm not used to this. Oh, okay. And then they're like, I'm not fruiting then. But America's okay though, right? Are we gonna get affected by this? No, this is worldwide. Oh no, if we gotta stop this shit thing. Are big oh, wow. enough, Wait. it could fuck the world a little bit. I thought bit. this is only gonna affect Italy. This is gonna affect us. We gotta do something, you guys. <laughs> the we smoke, gotta rally together. The smoke brothers. will come all the way over here. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't get Italian uh, parsley? Meatballs. Parsley? <laughs> I, I I can't get Italian parsley. We, we gotta happens. get the fucking princes of fucking Saudi Arabia involved. <laughs> we gotta get and we just start. We got a weather machine unloading <laughs> sand on the volcano. Oh, Nothing yeah. puts out fire Wait, better what? than sand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put sand. They got yeah, lots of yeah. sand. Yeah. Carry a fuck ton of sand. Almost and unlimited amount. Bury that volcano with sand. Yo, that's gonna make glass. Ooh, that's dope. <laughs> They're gonna make a glass mountain. If then we'll, the, have, if it, we'll put hammers all <laughs> over and then break the glass. Okay. That would be beautiful. That's I like cool. the first idea. I think if everyone just does an ice bucket challenge, like we just grab all the uh, ice that we can, that's and then we start good. dumping it in the volcano, it'll cool it down like a pimple that needs to chill. Okay. Or we could do a preemptive, get a big needle, pop the volcano first, let it like, you know, like a, and then squeeze out the, 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 the white lava. head. Yeah, and then it's a little eruption instead of a big eruption. Any add-ons? Right? To that. Yeah, let's get Dr. Pibble Popper's advice. <laughs> Did, how well how well are they able to predict like volcanoes? Like remember the one that popped off in the uh, big island? They didn't predict that shit. They're they fucking right? scary, dude. Those things are when it's so, so, hot, so unpredictable. When it's so fucking hot, when lava hits water, it's instant steam. It's yeah, like instant crazy. evaporation. It's fucking scary as yeah. fuck. They say when a yeah. super volcano erupts, like uh if, if one happened in America, for example, like case studies in Yellowstone, which is, uh, there is a super volcano there yeah, too. There is. Uh, kind of if a us. super volcano, for example, in Yellowstone were to erupt, there would be, it would be a global catastrophe. It would kill around 100,000 people instantly around the area and make most of North America uninhabitable as huge amounts of ash and dust would be thrown into the atmosphere. Dude, that most. That is insane. Most of North America were dead. Damn, Mother Nature is insane. That's happened before in our history. That's what killed um, Kublai Khan. <laughs> the mammoths and stuff. Is that true? They actually, um, <laughs> scientists theorize that uh, Neanderthals were 
um, extinct. I got a little Neanderthal in me. Mm -hmm. In my DNA. Oh yeah, that's right. So they haven't been Can fully I get a extinct. Applause, Jason Cheney. Like, no applause, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. That's also because we probably had sex with, like, I think a human. A Neanderthal bent over and they're like, oh, 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 I don't care if it's not human. And then they fucking but, but came in. It's close right? enough, they're right? mostly yeah. human. I mean, they're human enough. They to just got smooth brains, right? And then well, have a baby. Unless it's an entirely different color, because you can't really tell, right? Um, My fossils. Neanderthals just have like underbites and are mouth breathers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you make it more prominent. <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself like just breathing out my mouth heavy. And then jaw. There's more like that. Ooh, and it feels right, huh? <laughs> like, honestly, when I'm in deep focus, and you just want to scratch your arm a little. <laughs> when I'm in deep focus, let me tell you, when I'm in deep focus on a task, yeah, I'll look down and guess what? Jaw like that. Really? Really? Breathe out my mouth. Hey, That's really? why I wear nasal strips, yo. Yeah. yeah. But why is the jaw forward more forward? I, I have an under. Well, they say mouth breathing. The longer you do it, the more of an underbite you develop. Really? And they even, oh. and this is what Andrew Huberman says. Oh. And then he says, the uglier you get, you get uglier, yo. Yeah? What, what does that mean? I don't know. Your face shape starts to change when you mouth breathe. You think people with underbites are uglier than people with overbites? That's not what I'm saying, but like, I could, <laughs> I, I, I can't afford to get uglier, bro. That's what I mean. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing like nasal strips nowadays. That's I mean, why, huh? That's one of the reasons. Yeah. Well, you look really cool when you have them on, so. Thank you, but it's mostly, like, honestly, once I wear them, I can't go back. It, I can breathe out my nose. It I can opens smell. it, huh? Bro, I can smell, y'all. Yeah, I sleep nice. with it on. Me too. Yeah, I, sleep I, try with to, it on, I try to get I deeper sleep. On. But what I'm saying is, like, throughout the day, like, a couple of years ago, well, yeah, a couple, before I started using nasal strips, like, I, I really can't smell most things uh -huh. that well. Oh, do you, does your nose feel more open now? Now it does. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. This you is know the what most it feels like? like? It feels like I've someone got your butt cheeks and spread it open so you could fart easier. Wow. No, seriously. <laughs> when you do that, with that, that you, yeah. you look like you're wearing those glasses that are connected to the nose. <laughs> like those costumes. Yeah, you mean the mustache. <laughs> mustache and eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>